What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with me, your boy Iggy. Today, you find me in the swamp. I uh, stumbled across this the other day when uh, we were rounding up the uh, Taiga Villager and uh, getting the trident. And I figured I might as well drop a nether portal out here in the middle of this uh, well, swamp. I guess you would say lake, pond, I don't know what you would call it, but... That way, we can um, get some villagers here, <clears throat> excuse me, via the nether and uh, get a little villager breeder going here so we can get some of the swamp villagers because that's one of my goals for the series is to have all of the different villagers. So without further ado, I actually found some obsidian at some uh, ruined nether portals in the area. And uh, yeah, I figured we would just go ahead and toss a nether portal here not light it or no light it but not go in it and then uh, go to the coordinates in the nether and link it up that way and then that way it'll pop out right here and we will be good to go i also made a three wide because i prefer to build in odds it's just personal preference but yeah i figured if we had a nice little uh villager breeder here like one of the simple farmer designs it would only be working when we're in the area of wanting the villagers, and then we could just get a little minecart system that runs them back into the nether and takes them back to the base. So, yeah, let's just get this thing built. So let's see, that's one, two, three, and then on the fourth one, it goes across. And we got three in the middle, and then we drop down, and we should have plenty. Fantastic, and then I need to actually get in this thing. So we're going to... Drop down, place that, grab my flint and steelio, and then we'll take some blocks here and just make a little front exit for it. That way when we bring the villagers in, they're kind of forced to go out this way when we'll have the uh, little like farming area. I'm going to probably do one of the... um. Yeah, you know, maybe we'll do the, the design we've got back in the base. I haven't decided what design we're going to do for this yet, but it, it's really not that important at this point. But let's just go ahead and grab some more iron blocks because we're balling out. And just go ahead and get a back put on this thing. Put another one right there so it's even. My cat's going ballistic underneath the desk. What are you doing? Goodness. All right. Actually, we totally forgot what we even got that out for. Oh, no, we didn't. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then I've got my coordinates written down and mathed out for the, uh, what's it called? To sync this up on the other side. And we're just going to go ahead and get a, it's not a village. So we need our, uh, see, I really don't like how close we are to this. You know what, we're gonna put it right here. Cause I'm not trying to have something break and then go into the portal and we have to go and get it. So this is going to be our swamp. Reader. Portal. Do one of those, throw that right there, hit it on the map, boom. It's all marked, grab that real quick before it has a chance to run off on us we'll grab that and we're all set here alrighty so now we can uh start oh uh, you know what we are not all set here because I need to get more rockets to be able to get home so let's see where's our rocket box let's see that's maps essentials goes there the rockets down we'll just grab two stacks of these because I planned on filling in this map that back yeah we got our trident i actually managed to get uh impaling five on there and uh you'll notice that i now only have 22 levels and that was after me having to go get about 60 more levels other than the 100 plus we had because i could not for the life of me get a villager to get the impaling five trade so what i ended up having to do was buy a ton of impaling one books which were available from my villagers and then mixing, you know, two of those to make an impaling two, and then mixing another two of those to make another impaling two to combine to get one impaling three. 
then having to do that again to get another impaling three that you could mix together to get impaling four, and then having to do all of that another time to be able to get two impaling fours to put together to get impaling five. Completely unnecessary, didn't really need to do it, but I figured it would make the uh, Elder Guardians a lot easier to take on. So that is one of the things that's going to be probably happening either in this episode or the next episode. We're going to go take on some of the ocean monuments, try to get some sponges so we can start doing some fun projects with those, which I'm really looking forward to. So now that we got our portal all set up here, I am going to... Uh, Probably fill in this little bit of map here, and if I come across anything interesting, I'll uh, turn the camera back on. But yeah, just get back to the base, which is actually, if you look at the top right of the map, that little like maroon red dot. Let's see if I can get a cursor like right here. It's probably super tiny, but that that's our base right there. So. Yeah, just gonna head back. We got our portal here, which will be great. We can set up a little villager breeder here at some point and get the swamp villagers. And we'll have to do another one in the jungle, which is, you may remember, we already linked up via the nether. So that should be pretty easy. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to uh, head back to the base so we can start prepping for today's projects, which it's going to be a fun day. It's going to be an interesting day. We got a bunch of random stuff that I have planned. So stay tuned for that. All right, so on the way home, I actually stopped by this village where I had uh, quarantined, so to speak, all of the uh, villagers, as you can see. Uh, and we don't have a desert villager yet, so I figured I would just uh, go ahead and snag one of these. The house is literally, like, right over there. So I figured we would just grab one of these guys on the way home, because why not? It's one less that we need to get later. So that leaves us with the frozen villagers, the... Let's see, they should take the... Yeah, there we go. So the uh, Frozen Villagers, the Swamp Villagers, and the Jungle Villagers, I believe, are all that remain. So that's that's good. We're making progress. I'd say we're about more than halfway there, actually, at this point. So I'll meet back up with you once I've uh, got our dude here safely locked away. And actually, we could put him in a breeder with the, uh, the Taiga Villager and then... That one would spit out that one while the other one puts out the uh, the Plains Villagers and the uh, Savannah Villagers. So that'll be a good, a good little thing. So we'll just come back over here real quick and use our contraption that I set up for exactly this purpose. So we come over here and we get on top of the slab, press the button, up we go. Come over here, drop down into the pit. Back it up a little bit so I can actually see the button. Come on. Like that. And boom. Home, sweet, home. And we can go close that. Yeah, I'm actually gonna move. Oh, no. We'll just hit that, go around. But yeah, so I figured I would just uh, put this guy with the uh, Taiga Villager for the time being. And then we would uh, continue on with today's projects. One of the things that I really wanted to get done today was go and get a couple donkeys from that Taiga Village from the other day. Because, uh, yeah, you know what, we're just going to put you right here. And you two can be buddies. So yeah, I really wanted to uh, actually, eh, yeah, we'll just fly. But I really wanted to go to the uh, Taiga Village again, which is marked at the bottom of the map there, the bottom left, and uh, scoop up a couple donkeys so that we can bring them back and breed them into mules to uh, start building on our animal collection. That was one thing that I also wanted to do this season, in addition to getting uh, all of the villagers i would really like to get as many of the animals in the wildlife as possible so today i was thinking we would grab a donkey or a couple donkeys and then possibly some polar bears and actually i uh, gathered some snow here i believe it's in this box yeah so we can make a nice little uh, habitat for our our new uh 
our new polar bear friends. And actually, we'll take two of these aside and then run over to the... Uh, over here and grab a carved pumpkin. And then that way we can actually make a little snow farm here with a... Uh, snow golem so we'll have to uh, set that aside so i'm going to tidy up my inventory real quick grab some of the supplies that we're going to need for the transporting of these creatures and i will be right back with you all right so i join you back here in the taiga village and there's one of the donkeys that i actually want so what we're going to do here is just slap down a quick nether portal i also have all the villagers locked up so we can get some more of them if we so choose actually you know what let's recess this into the ground just to make it easier to get the mobs into all right so let's see nether portal time so boom boom one two three placeholder block because we don't really care that much about this portal and then one two three and then we will grab some dirt. Get rid of that dirt. And then just go ahead and block this off so we don't have the mobs wandering into it before it is lit. And actually, I should probably go and get the coordinates real quick. So. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead, get the coordinates for this nether portal and figure out where that would be in the nether. And then we're going to go make the swamp portal and the one that links up to this one. So I will be right back with you back at the base, ready to go to the nether and link up the portal. So be right back. All right. So I was on my way back to the base and I stumbled across some polar bears. And that was actually one of the things that I had wanted to grab. And I figured we might as well just grab them on the way back. That one has a cub, so I don't trust getting close to it because I don't want to get angry with me. But this one over here, let's see. And that one right there is probably perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our boat and then we're going to, uh, I did not name these name tags. Uh, let's see, where is our, and I did not bring, all right, well, hopefully the anvil in here doesn't break, and we're just going to name both of these dudes Frosty, just so they don't despawn. I don't think passive mobs despawn, but just in case, get our thing back, put that up, and let's see. You're frosty now, and you're on a lead. I'm getting in my boat, and you're coming with me. And we're going to go get this dude. Are you... Oh, yeah, okay, you're just going all over the place. That's fine. Okay, so let's see. Let's get out and come over here. Perfect. Name you. Get you on a lead. Awesome. And now I just got to uh, sail back back to the base and hopefully not lose these guys and i believe on my map here i've got a little way that i had gotten the uh villager back so we're just gonna try to navigate through all of this ice get around that probably just sail through the night these guys are just going all over the place and uh, yeah, hopefully I can find our little channel back. It looks like it's actually going to be somewhat north. So we're just going to focus on going this direction. And uh, I'll see you back at the base. Alrighty, we have made it back home. And it looks like we have both of our polar bears. So that is perfect. Now we can just go find some place to uh, temporarily dump these guys. And... Uh, until we get a nice little homemade for them. So you know what, we'll hop out right here. And we'll bring you guys, yes, deleted. Yes, you are, perfect. And you know, we'll just put them over by the stable because I get the, oh, that's not good. What happened? What happened, guys? Come on, up we go. Come on. What, what's, what is wrong with this one? Are you like stupid? 
Come on, dude. Okay, well, you know what? We got the one. Let's just, I don't know. We'll dump him for the, there for the time being. I don't know what's wrong with this one. This one's kind of kind of derpy. If I, like, bring you around. There you go. Okay, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Yeah, and then we'll just put you right, right there with your buddy. Alrighty, so that's all taken care of. I'm going to go hop into the nether here and locate uh, where we need to get our portals built. And actually, I need to grab some signs and clean out my inventory a little bit so we can actually mark this. So I will be right back with you in the nether. Alrighty, so I am here in the nether where the swamp portal should technically be. So let's see if everything goes to plan and this links up properly. So we'll just get our three by three nether portal in here. And I want it flush with the um, walls in the ceiling. So when I bring villagers via the ice road, I can just yeet them right through the portal. Seem like it would be a good idea, but let's go ahead and get this thing lit. Make sure it's a safe time and uh, hop through and hope that we are in the Taiga Village. Or Swamp, rather. And it would appear that we are, so perfect. That is a success. We can just dump some of this nether rack, and then that means I can connect it with a ice road and we are good to go here. So now I just have to go and find the other, uh, the other place that we need to make the portal for the Taiga Village. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this uh, ice path put in real quick and uh, go get that area found. And then we can uh, make our portal there and make sure that it links up to you. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, so if my math is right, this portal right here should take us to the Taiga Village. And we got to do this quick because we're going to pop out and it is going to be just about nighttime. So we're going to need to uh, get ready to sleep for that. Let's get rid of some of this nether rack. Pick up some of this grass and fix a little area here. And we'll just dump that right there. All right, and then let's see. While we're here, we can just scrap some of this garbage that we don't need. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and then get our leads. Gonna need those for the mules, and then we're going to need to get our bed and sleep. And luckily we don't have to worry about any of the villagers. Oh, actually I found two ancient debris while I was tunneling, so that was kind of cool. But yeah, all the villagers are locked up in their home, so they're not going anywhere. But let's go find some donkeys. I know there's some here, or there should be. Yeah, yeah, I know you're all trying to go to work, but that's just too bad. All right, well, there's one. You're coming with me. And there's the other one. Perfect, boom. What is it with the leads? Is there are like leads broken lately? Like what happened to why are leads not working? That's what I want to know. Oh, it's, it was this donkey right here. And apparently he couldn't make it through the trees or some. Come on. Oh, for fucking Christ, dude. Come on. Quit being a moron. Let's go. I don't have time for your shit. And so you guys don't fuck up on the campfire. Come on. You know what? All this is going to go because it's in the way. And it looks like we got a villager that uh, somehow did not get trapped in his home, which is strange, but whatever. So we'll just walk through. Come on. All right. Both of the leads should be on the other side, so I can grab the... Oh, nope, they're right there. Hopefully they popped out on the correct side of the portal because I did not remember to block off the back. So you and you. All right. And now we just got to uh, 
drag them all the way back home and I'm gonna have to come do something about that portal but yeah because the uh, where the gold farm was it was right in the way of the quick route to the that portal so I ended up having to go the super long route which was kind of a pain but I mean we needed to have a tunnel coming over this way anyways at some point so it's no big deal. I had brought, you know, plenty of ice and everything to make an ice road. So just have to get that done later on. But yeah, see, it's not that far. I mean, it was a lot of digging, obviously doing a three by three the entire way. So I could put an ice road down later. But I'm going to go ahead and get these guys back to the stable and get them tamed. And I will meet you there. All right, so I got the donkeys into the stable, and oh my goodness, that was the most rage-inducing thing I have ever done in this game. Worse than villagers. I literally almost murdered these two. Like, fuck you. Anyway, so I got to go and uh, put my, you know, entire nether building back together since the donkeys did not seem to want to move in there. So I'm going to go do that real quick and then I will join back up with you. We'll take a look at how much time we've got left and uh, go from there. So I will see you in just a minute. All right. So I got frustrated with the animals, so we're not going to be doing anything else with them this episode. Possibly next episode we'll uh, do some breeding and get some babies, but... I, I can't do it right now. So instead, we are going to go ahead and get our snowman farm or our snow farm built. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to start with a two by two of um, uh, building blocks. And then I believe, let's see, on this side, we're going to go like this with dirt and then we're going to grab a slab and we're going to place it right there and then we are going to grab our dirt and we're going to come up to we're going to come over to like so and like so and then we are going to get some glass panes and we're going to go like that like that like that and then we are going to grab some pistons and we are going to place them towards the glass panes like so. And then in the middle here on our slab, we are going to build our still golem. So one, two, and our pumpkin. He will fall down and then like so. You will then grab your redstone, place it there and there, and then get a lever and put it in the middle. And then you can nudge him into the corner like so and then hit that and he should you got to make sure he's actually trapped before you so let's try that again get you go in the corner dude stop being difficult and then we'll hit that perfect now he's trapped and we can get another pane of glass and place it right there and then you can go ahead and remove that and that they will no longer be needed get rid of lever and then if you're building this outside, you need to have a roof over his head. So if it rains, he doesn't croak. We're not building it outside, but I am still going to put a roof over him just for the sake of the sake of it. Okay. And that's not going to work. So we're going to have to tower back up and build that one higher. Uh, let's see, get our dirt. I'll go. Oops. That one. Oh, that one. That one. That one. And that one. That one. And you know what? We'll just use the piston as a temporary block. Put those right there. And then just boom, boom. 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 And that'll make sure that. He's not getting out of this thing. All right, and then you will see you get a layer of snow right here. And so you just position yourself where you can double get the two of them and then you just hold left click. And I have a silk touch uh, 
shovel. So for me, it's going to give me the snow layers. But if you use a non silk touch shovel, which I will probably make and just keep on the wall here, it'll give you uh, the snowballs, which you can use to craft into blocks of snow. And that is how you build a super simple, highly efficient snow farm. And keep in mind, there's uh, specifications for where this can be built. Uh, it can only be built at certain Y levels and certain biomes, depending on how uh, what the temperature is. So the higher the temperature of the biome, the higher up in the world it needs to be built. We are in the plains, so this has to build at, be built at 64, Y64 or above, which is no problem because I just threw them up here in the little mini farm area in the storage room. And uh, yeah, that's how you get... A snow farm pretty pretty straightforward stuff so all in all that's where we're going to end the episode for today thank you so much for watching uh don't forget to hit that like button leave a comment down below i love reading the comments get subscribed hit the bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out check me out on twitter twitch and patreon all of which are at iggy Haxer, and we will see you in the next episode you have a great day Bye bye